Rihanna issued an apology to Muslim community on Thursday after being criticized for using a song that sampled a reaction uh, recitation from Islam's where is it? Where do we go? For Islam's sacred, what is it? Uh, oh yeah, Islam's sacred hadith for her yeah lingerie show. I don't know what this whole thing is, but here's the thing, guys. If you see here, disrespected Islam. How did she disrespect Islam? She in her lingerie show there was a music playing, and the music that was playing was by this artist. They used a recitation of the hadith. Hadith is like Islamic scripture, second only in hierarchy to an authority to the Quran itself. This was Hadith Bukhari. And a lot of people in the live chat here are familiar with Hadith Bukhari because we do go over Hadith Bukhari often here because Hadith Bukhari is one of the major sources of Islamic teachings and laws. And it's not nice. It's not, I mean, it's very bizarre that people are not defending Hadith, Islamic Hadith, especially the book that, was it Bukhari? It doesn't matter. It's Hadith. But over like oh like oh so disrespectful so disrespectful ryan is using islamic hadith recitation of islamic hadith in her music for a lingerie if i bet you that the vast majority of these people who are so butthurt over this have no idea what's in the hadith have no idea what's in the hadith and the non-muslims who think that this is all offensive if they knew what's in the hadith, if they actually bothered to read the hadith, they would have to come to the logical conclusion that the offensive thing here is the hadith itself. Not the fact that it was used in a song in a lingerie show. Okay, but let's continue, okay? The artist turned designer, by the way, good on her for like, you know, increasing her business and other things and making me having multiple streams of income and becoming a very successful business person. Good job on Ryan on that. So the artist turned designer whose lingerie show was initially praised for its inclusivity, inclusivity was called out by several, several, you mean like an army of Muslim fans, several Muslim fans for disrespecting their religion. Guys, can somebody explain to me how is your recitation of hadith being used in an electronic song? How is that disrespecting the religion? Maybe if they, okay, maybe some of them are saying like, oh, it was used in a lingerie show, blah, blah, blah. These people are all sex negative, that's why. A mistake she characterized as honest yet curless, right? Guys, I, by the way, yeah, we'll get guys. You guys, yes. So, so I was saying exactly, our man. The recluse is saying inclusivity, right? This inclusivity, we're gonna come back to that. We are gonna come back to that, okay? But I know a lot of you guys are like, a lot of people. I saw some comments on Facebook when I posted about this. People were like, "Oh, what a coward, Diana! What a coward! What a coward! Like, why would you apologize?" I mean, guys, we cannot have the same expectations from people in mainstream. I mean, you know what, they're not doing activism, okay? Okay, so they're not, I mean, if you are dealing with all this crap and given the standard, like he, it's our job as activists here, right? To, be, to break the barrier, to normalize dissent, to normalize blasphemy, to tell people that the fact that they're offended doesn't mean that they can't re draw red lines ar around us, okay? That's not everyone else's responsibility. It's not Rihanna's responsibility, okay? She has a business to manage, and she's employing a whole bunch of people, and these are the standards that she has to deal with, and she has to dance, like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to expect everybody to, uh, to go through the red lines, okay? Some of us do, and we're tiny, I know. We're very tiny. But some of us do, so that maybe one day everybody else doesn't have to dance around these arbitrary red lines, okay? But come on, like you can't expect everybody to do what we're doing and just like throw away everything and be like, I'm not gonna back down. I'm gonna like take a stand here. I'm not gonna bend the knee. I mean, how many people that work for her will lose? Like, like people are like, oh, here's another thing people say. People say like, 
look, she's so financially rich. She should like she is so independent. If she if she loses like some money over this or something, it's not like she's not going to be rich again. Like she's she's not going to suffer. So given that it's so safe for her to to push back, you know, given that you know she can take a hit a little bit, why wouldn't she do that? Why wouldn't she take a step? Why would she bow down? That's BS. Come on. You know, if her empire is this big and it goes from being this big to being this big. That means how many people just lost their job in her empire? How many people are not employed anymore now in her empire? Okay, so don't be so selfish about like thinking everybody has to be an activist. Other people have other priorities. Not everybody has to become a free expression warrior or something like that. Okay. Um, so I was saying, why are Muslims watching the show in the first place? It is actually haram in Islam to watch the, these women. Well, because most Muslims don't follow Islam. You know that. We know that. We all know that. It's okay. Um, AJ is saying it's easier to ask for forgiveness than ask for permission. I mean, there could be some arguments people would make that, listen, apologies usually don't work. But that's not true. Sometimes they work. Sometimes they don't work. Okay? Sometimes apologies backfire, and when people smell blood, they come for the kill. Right? But sometimes if people really, like, if your Muslim fans really love you, they're going to be like, okay, fine, fine, fine. Okay, apology accepted. So, you know, we'll see. Okay? Well, yeah, it depends. The, your, your, you know, mileage may vary. Uh, the artist turned designer. Okay, so we already read that part. We're going to come back to inclusivity, okay? So this is her statement. Let's see if we like the statement or not, okay? I'd like to thank the Muslim community for pointing out a huge oversight that was unintentionally offensive in our Savage X Fenty show. Am I reading this right? Savage X Fenty show. What a weird name. Rihanna wrote in her Instagram stories, I would I I would more importantly like to apologize for to you for this honest yet careless mistake. And yet we might like everybody who like, oh, why are you apologizing? This was not offensive. This is ridiculous. But guys, like, do you really feel like you want everybody, like celebrities, people that are doing fashion design to be like coming up? Like, do you think like they come and know the nuances of not discriminating against a community and not holding back against certain ideas? Like other people have other things to do. Like they might not know the difference. They might not think like, like, you know, we can't be that picky. Okay. We can't be that picky. I, I'm not, I'm not getting angry over this. I'm not getting angry over this. Right. I'm not getting like, Oh, Red, why, are you, why are you saying like, this was a huge oversight. This was nothing. You didn't do anything wrong. You didn't even know that this is going to be offensive and you're apologizing. You don't need, no, it's okay. Just, you know, I, yeah, again, I don't think like by the way, if somebody all of a sudden decides to decide to take a stand, I would be like, oh my god, that's great. You I look at this person taking a stand. I mean, I don't know. Uh, they're responsible for more than them themselves. Okay, they have other people to worry about, right? But that would be interesting. Yeah, again, there's a lot of goes to this calculation, but I'm not again when it comes to people who are not involved in talking about religion, talking about what is discrimination and what is pushing back against ideas? What's the hadith? Is it offensive? Is it not offensive? What's inclusivity? The people who are not involved in that kind of stuff, if they make like say, statements that I'm not like, like, yeah, I don't know, I don't agree with that statement, but I'm not gonna get buttered over it. I'm not gonna get buttered over, over it. I'm, I'm gonna be like, screw us. I'll say screw us. Not everybody has to go say screw us, love, right? All right. Oh, yeah, Katie is saying. Not angry at, at her at all, but it still made me a bit sad because of how excited I was at her blaspheming against Islam. Well, technically she wasn't. I don't think she even understood, like, anybody did this intentionally, right? It would be great. We are fighting for a world where people could come out and be like, hey, I just checked your hadith, and your hadith is transphobic, so screw your hadith. We are fighting for a world where mainstream people could come out and say that openly. But we don't live in a world like that like that right now. That's why when if I mean if we if we lived in that world, then we would have, have to pack up and go home right now, right? So we wouldn't have to do anything that we're doing, right? So that's why we're here. Sajib saying if Rihanna was in Pakistan, she would be asking for forgiveness too, but not to Muslims, but to Allah. 
interesting point. Um, British Pakistani atheist is saying Rayana should have doubled down and walked around with an Allah's gay sign through her local gay pride festival. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. I think that's what we're here for. I don't expect somebody like somebody that mainstream and that big to do that. Again, we're trying to make our version of blasphemy mainstream. We can't, while it's not mainstream, we can't expect other people to do that. Okay. So the apology was issued on Savage X Fenty's official Instagram account. Uh, one of the hit makers, many businesses, business ventures that have made strides to be inclusive. Here's it. Here it is again. We're gonna come back to this. I told you we this we mentioned it once. Here's it again twice. We're gonna come back to this inclusive, okay? And have historically included hijabi women in their marketing. Models clad in Rihanna's colorful lingerie walked the catwalk and danced to Doom, a 2017 EDM song by London-based producer Cuckoo Cole. Cuckoo call during a segment. So this is the person that made the song, but she made the song in 2017. So it's been discovered now because um, Rihanna used it in her lingerie show, right? During a segment of the Savage X Fentil Volume Two show, the remix was called out in the past, and oh, it was called out by some people, and reignited backlash for being sexualized. Oh, this is this is what what makes everybody but hurt. And whether you're Hindu fa or whether you're part of the Muslim community, hey, this is what uh, ah, sex e yaki yaki. We don't like sex close to our religious stuff. No, no, sex is bad. Religion is good. Please don't mix them together. Uh, sexualized in the fashion show, which got a sp what splashy release on Amazon Prime Video last week. Um, in Islam, it is considered haram or forbidden to use Allah's name, the word of the Quran or the Prophet Muhammad, impolitely. How was it used impolitely? It wasn't impolite at all. It was actually just a remix of the original hadith rec recitation, right? Um, the hadith is a record of Muhammad's words and actions rihanna's followers on instagram flooded her comments to point that out urging her to educate yourself educate herself and issue an apology this is what this is what everybody says when they don't like something educate yourself oh you have educated yourself no you did the wrong education if you disagree with me your education is biased and not the sources that i like you have no right to talk about anything that we like unless you have a full PhD on the topic, even though we ourselves not a, are not at all educated on the Hadith. I have no idea what we're talking about. We just know that we're supposed to be offended. So we don't have any criteria for ourselves when it comes, when it comes to education level to be offended, but you have to get a doctorate in Islamic studies before you can say anything about Islam or Hinduism or Christianity. All right. So there goes that. Um, wow. What is this? This is pretty. Okay. What is this? Why are we highlighting this? I don't know, but I'm not complaining. Um, okay. I love, I love, okay. What is this? This is one of the fan rows. Okay. Uh, I love you and your your U R E. This is this is a Gen Z person, isn't it? This is a Gen Z. Like, look at this. U R E. That's okay. I I love you and you're the queen, but using an Islamic hadith as a track in your show is rude and disrespectful to all of your. Look at this. You are. How hard it is. Like, is, is this how much time did you save by typing you are? Okay. You, but of your, oh, maybe this is a tweet. Maybe I shouldn't be that judgmental. Maybe she was, she was just trying to save space. 
uh, of your Muslim friends across the globe. I love you, but that was just not it. Especially because you stand for diversity. Here it is again. Here it is again. Here we have two inclusivity points and one diversity points. We're going to come back to this. We're going to come back to this. Mm, okay. Um, okay, here's another tweet. I think it's a tweet. Um, can we talk about the blasphemous? Oh, no, not blasphemous. Blasphemous song that was played during the Savage X runway, question mark. A follower added a mix of Quran versus. No, no, you got it wrong. It wasn't Quran versus. A mix of Quran versus with an atrocious song. Who decides? I like the song. What's wrong with you? Uh, but you look at these people. They're like, educate yourself. And they themselves cannot even tell the difference between the Quran and Hadith. They thought it was Quran verses, but it wasn't. It was a Hadith verse. Not your fault, however. Oh, that's actually nice. This person is like, um, maybe like giving the, her the benefit of the doubt. Uh, not your fault, however. Kind of disappointing for whoever was in charge of that awful playlist. Hey, as, as dumb as this person is, at least it was as smarter as the rest of the dumb people out there who understand that maybe someone else was in charge of the playlist. I don't know. Susanna says, like, Susanna thinks, Susanna seems to worship Rihanna and she thinks, like, she's in charge of everything and she probably picked the song herself. So I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Religion is not, a, oh, aesthetic. Another said, hmm, I bet I'm, I don't think, I think it is. Yeah. Look at my, look at my gay Quran. Look at my rainbow Quran. How could it not be aesthetic? Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? This is my gay LGBT Quran. All right. For a brand that... Oh, here's another comment. For a brand that claimed to be diverse... Here it is, here it is again. We're going to come back to all this, okay? For a brand to claim to be diverse and accepting, accepting, accepting. Guys, remember, remember these words. We're going to come back to this, okay? Inclusive, inclusivity, diverse, diversity, and accepting, okay? Accepting. We're going to come back to this, okay? It is really disrespectful for you not educate, for you not educated yourself? Wait, what? For you not educated yourself, is this proper English? I don't, I'm not sure. For you not educated yourself about what you're using during your fashion show, you have hurt a community, and I hope you take accountability for your action. Another road. Okay, so these people who are saying educate yourself, that must mean they themselves are educated, okay? That means that means they themselves know Islamic hadith and know what is an Islamic hadith, okay? So consider these people, they're either hypocrites, okay? And they're asking you to educate yourself while they themselves have no idea what's in the Islamic hadith, okay? So they are either hypocrites or they're hypocrites. Right? You know why? Because they know what is an Islamic hadith and they're asking for diversity and accepting, okay? The, okay? So they're either hypocrites or they're hypocrites, okay? Because we know we know what's in Islamic hadith and how accepting Islamic hadith is, okay? We'll see, we'll see. I just have one Islamic hadith. One Islamic hadith, which I showed to you guys last time, but I'm going to show it to you again because last time I made a mistake of actually reading it and YouTube was like, no, 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 no. We don't get to say these things on YouTube, so I have to make this time not show it to you again, but not read it. Just show it to you guys. Just show it, and you guys can read it yourself, okay? Maybe I'll just read it and use code words. We'll see, all right? But, so again, remember, they're saying educate yourself, so either they're hypocrites and have no idea what's in there, or they're hypocrites because they know what's in there, and they're calling for inclusivity and accepting, okay? And uh, there, uh, there's only two options, um, which are the same. Um, and that's what she said. Okay, wait. And that's what she says. All right. Uh, we understand that we have hurt. Oh, this is. Oh, this is what she said. This is what Rayana said. Uh, we understand that we have hurt many of our Muslim brothers and sisters, and I am incredibly disheartened by this. Oh, poor babies. Oh, poor babies. They're crying. Their feelings are hurt. Oh, no. Oh, no. Somebody do something. Call the ambulance. Uh, 
Um, her Tuesday apology said, I do not play with any kind of disrespect towards God or any religion. Don't worry, Rihanna, you don't have to. That's what we're here for. Uh, and therefore, the use of this song in our show was completely irresponsible. Moving forward, we will make sure nothing like this ever happens again. Thank you for your forgiveness and understanding. I think this means Rihanna, R-I-H. 